What's up guys? And in today's video, we are going to review the five best powder runs of the season. Now this turned out to be way harder to choose than I thought. I forgot how much powder we rode this season since we've been riding slush for almost as, just as many days as we rode powder. But we had so many epic powder days uh, this season and this is not the video of the best powder days of the season. This is literally the best runs of the season. Now these powder runs are the best because of it's one the best snow but two so or or not just because it was the best snow but because of also the experience i had doing it uh made it that much better or something like that so these runs are so sick these powder lines are like dream shots i can't believe i got this many this season it is crazy how much powder we wrote i literally have enough powder for my whole youtube career of snowboarding uh shots now hope next hopefully next time we get a lot more follow cam and not just selfie shots but on a powder day, it's the easiest is to hold the camera and just throw snow in your face. But these shots are sick. I hope you enjoy them. So we're gonna go in order by the day. So the first video is from day 33. I think it's like snowboarding powder off the T-bar chair. Anyways, this video is so sick and all the videos will be linked in the description if you wanna go back and check out those powder days. But we went up the T-bar. This is the second time up the T-bar for the day. They dropped the rope on the right side and we got to go down this whole run and literally the whole run was untouched and it was so sick and uh enjoy I smoked after that run, it was so long, but that run, it kind of clicked in my head and I kind of was just like, if there's powder, if it's a powder day, we're gonna go rip powder. And that's what we did for the rest of the season. And it was the right choice. Cause usually I did try to just like hunt down, like park and uh, even on powder days. So we really went and got after the, the, the snow. All right, day 39, six days later, we got another epic powder day. Uh, this is when the Montezuma Bowl opened at Arapahoe Basin. <laughs> and we got one of the first drops and it was so sick. And here's the drop, one of the first drops into the bowl. This powder lasted one run, literally it smoked right after. So uh, enjoy. That day alone kind of made me realize that uh, A Basin had way too much hype on it. The Montezuma Bowl is okay, and the powder got ridden so quick because it's not that big of a bowl. So uh, I don't know, I was just, yeah. All right, jumping all the way up to day 92 at North Star. This snow was so heavy, and it was it was a, a harder snow to ride for sure. It was a heavy snow. It was a good powder run, but the biggest reason why this is on my top, and I wish I could share it with you, but there's a, the other music and all this stuff, but Daniel was behind me the whole time going, 
Woo! Yeah! The best day of my life! And like cheering and screaming and it was so funny. And, and towards the end, it, 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 when at the end of the powder run, I just, I fall out and dying laughing because I couldn't stop laughing. Like I was ripping the powder, I wanted to keep the powder, but inside I was holding in the laughter and I fell and I just had to laugh it out. Uh, if you watch the original vlog, you can uh, see how much fun we were having on this run. So that was day 92. Eight days later, we were back in Colorado and another huge snowstorm came. And uh, this is underneath the Prue chairlift. I don't know the name of the run. And I was doing a one-on-one -on -one shred day with Paul and Brian. What is like super sick. We got first drop down that one run underneath Peru. That's a black. I don't know the name of it. And first track ripped it so hard. It was so clean. The snow was so soft. It was, it was sick. This was a sick run. I don't think I have experienced leg burn like that ever in my life. It hurt so bad. The last clip just happens to be the best of the, the forest, a nice sunny sky. The sun was out, the snow was so deep. This was at Vail. Four days later at Vail, another epic powder day. I was doing a one-on-one show day with Melissa this time, and we went and we weren't even expecting a powder day at Vail. We were like, oh, let's just go to Vail. And it turned out to be a powder day. This was in uh, one of their bowls and oh man, did we rip some pow? And this was just a short, this was like half the run. I didn't want to, like, I didn't show the rest of it. The amount of face shots I got in, in 34 seconds is ridiculous. So I enjoy the clip. All right, guys, those are the five of my favorite runs from this season. If you have your favorite, comment down below. We'll probably do another video of five favorite powder days, like vlogs, must go see. But you should check out these videos if you missed them or if you just missed powder. They're all linked at the top of the description in order, one through five. Check them out. They're super sick videos, guys. I hope we get this much powder next season because I've never had so much fun ripping powder, whether it was on my park or my powder board, the Cavda Slush Slasher, which is linked in the description or just my regular snowboard, link in the description. Ripping powder is fun on either board and I just, I, I love it. So uh, all that's in the description. We, once again, we had so many powder days, so picking five of the best powder days is gonna be so hard. So comment down below your favorite powder day and I'll take it into consideration why it was your favorite. Now we didn't go out and do anything today because my wife had to go help pick her friend pick a wedding dress out. Uh, but on Wednesday we were hiking, uh, Imperial Bowl, like literally hiking up and snowboarding down. It's gonna be sick, we're super excited to do that. And tomorrow I'll get out and snowboard too. But uh, the last couple of days I've been uh, dealing with some, not dealing, but just we've been busy and I haven't been able to get out and, and do anything uh, that's vlog worthy. So uh, 
summer time is my grind time. We're grinding. But I hope you guys like this style of videos. Let me know down below too or by smashing that like button. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're new. We make a bunch of sick snowboard content and the goal is to help you become the best snowboarder possible. So subscribe and get ready for season four because it's going to be so sick even though season three hasn't ended yet. All right, guys, I got to get Roman out of his high chair. Sounds like he's done eating. I don't know if you can hear him screaming in the background. But uh, with that, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving and we'll see you next time. I'm on top of the ocean, living like life ain't frozen, feeling my feet been chosen for something other than motion, yeah. Mama told me I'ma be somebody, I ain't never gonna need no- I tried to stop laughing, cause Daniel is- oh, Let's cut to Daniel's GoPro.